Hello everyone. My name is Ms. Raja al Qadi, and this is the Raja Study Group. Permit me to talk about question number 4 from the fourth paper of the IGCSE Chemistry exam, which was given in May 2022 in this episode. The topic of sulfur compounds is covered in question 4. The exam's creator divided the question into two halves, A and B. In section B, the exam's author inquired about hydrogen sulfide and the covalent bond that forms this compound, as well as its reaction as a poisonous gas with another toxic gas, sulfur dioxide, in the presence of moisture, to produce sulfur and water. Part A discussed sulfuric acid and how it is produced. To understand what goes on behind the scenes, sulfuric acid is manufactured in two ways, the lead chamber process and the contact process. In the IGCSE chemistry curriculum, the notion of contact process is crucial. It is an industrial process that prepares sulfuric acid in high concentrations to meet market needs and demand. Sulfur is oxidized using a vanadium pentaoxide V205, catalyst in this process. This process was developed in 1831 and is the most common and least expensive. It is superior to the first method because the sulfuric acid obtained is pure. The procedure is divided into four major steps. Stage 1 Molten sulfur burns in air to produce sulfur dioxide. Stage 2 Sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen to form sulfur trioxide. Stage 3 Sulfur trioxide combines with concentrated sulfuric acid to form oleum, H2S207. Stage 4 oleum reacts to form concentrated sulfuric acid. Let us read the fourth question, are you ready for that? Let us start. Are you ready to read the fourth question? Let us get started. In order to think about the questions before seeing the answer, you can pause the video. Are you prepared to respond to question number four? I am ready, how about you? How would you respond to question four about sulfur compounds? How would you write a chemical equation for the first stage reaction? A. I. This was very well answered. The majority of errors occurred when students were writing formulae. Do you format the equation as? S plus O2 SO2. Oh no. This sulfur dioxide formula is incorrectly written. Both the S and O letters must be capitalized. Would you write the equation in the following form? S plus O2 SO2. No. This is also an incorrect equation formula. Subscripts must be written below the line. Few students wrote the equation's formula in the following format. S2 plus O SO2. Assuming that sulfur one of the elements exist as molecules. The sticky notes show seven elements exist as molecules. The correct equation was S plus O2 SO2. Score one marks. Two, if you were taking this exam, how would you state the essential conditions for stage two? Moreover, how would you write an equation for the resulting chemical reaction? Temperature, 450. No, this was occasionally incorrect. When quoting temperature, the units must be in degrees Celsius, degree C. Some students received failing grades because they failed to mention the catalyst and did not write it correctly. Vanadium, V? No, mentioning the catalyst's name like this was an incorrect answer. Therefore, in order to state the catalyst name, you must include oxide. 
Alternatively, you can write the formula of an ionic compound vanadium like this. V2O5. Pressure, 1 to 2 atmospheric pressure. No, this was a common mistake, because atmospheric pressure is the pressure within Earth's atmosphere. And the unit of pressure in this case was an atmosphere, ATM. Pressure, 200 atmospheres, no, this was also a common error that demonstrated confusion with the Haber process. A sticky note compares two processes. The two processes differ in four categories, goal, equation, condition, and compromise conditions. When answering this question, take care not to misread what is being asked. Put two lines in the word state that mean give the relevant points briefly. There is no need for a lengthy discussion or give minor details. The exam's creator divided the question into three grades, which were assigned based on the three conditions of reaction. As a result, you state the three points briefly in order to avoid losing some serious marks. Temperature, 450 degrees Celsius, 1. Score 1 mark. Pressure, 1 to 2 atmospheres, 1. Score 1 mark. Vanadium, V, oxide catalyst, 1. Score 1 mark. 2SO2 plus O2, 2SO3, 1. Score 1 mark. 3. How would you formulate a chemical equation for the third stage reaction? This was very well answered. So 3 plus H2SO3 H2S207? No. The most common error was in the sulfuric acid formula. Some students wrote sulfurous acid instead of sulfuric acid in H2S03. The correct answer was SO3 plus H2SO4 H2S207. Score 1 mark. 4. Name the substance that reacts with oleum in stage 4. 4. This was adequately addressed. Sulfuric acid or oxygen? Oh no, those were the most frequent mistakes. Water was the correct response. Score 1 mark. How to complete the dot and cross diagram depicting the electron arrangement in a hydrogen sulfide molecule. B. I. This was answered very well. There were no common errors. A small number showed non-bonding. Electrons on the hydrogen atoms. Correct answer was two bonding pairs as one dot and cross each. Score 1 mark. Two lone pairs on S, and no additional electrons on HS, to complete the outer shell on S and both HS, 1. Score 1 mark. 2. How to balance the chemical equation for the reaction of hydrogen sulfide with sulfur dioxide. 2H2S plus SO22S plus 2H2O. Oh no, this was common mistakes answer. The S was often preceded by a 2 instead of a 3. Presumably, this was because students omitted to count the S in SO2. When a chemical equation is balanced, the number of reactant elements equals the number of product elements. Draw a line in the middle. Count the number of atoms on each side of the equation. Therefore, the number of atoms in the reactant side there is 2 hydrogen on the reactant side. I have 1 plus 1 sulfur and so there are 2 sulfur take care you must count all of the sulfur in the reactant. In addition, there is 2 oxygen in reactant side. On the product side, I have 2 hydrogen, 1 sulfur, and 1 oxygen after listing atoms on both sides. The main role of the balancing equation is to simply change the coefficients in front of the atoms. The number following the atoms in the subscript cannot be changed. We have two hydrogen on each side, as well as two oxygen on the reactant side and one on the product side. To correct the unbalanced oxygen, I set the coefficient in front of the H20 on the right to 2. So if I put 2 here, it means that time the 1 oxygen gave me 2 oxygen. But this 2 here also timed the hydrogen and that gave me 2 times 2 equal 4 hydrogen. Now my oxygen on both sides are 2. As a result, the oxygen is balanced, but the hydrogen and sulfur remains unbalanced. Therefore, 
we change the H2S coefficient to 2 because 2 times 2 equals 4 hydrogen. Hydrogen is now balanced on both sides. However, sulfur remains unbalanced, so after adding coefficient 2 to H2S, count the sulfur atom again. So the new sulfur count is 2 times 1 equal 2 sulfur you must add to them another sulfur, so the total sulfur in the reactant side equal 3. To balance the sulfur on the product side, add coefficient 3. All of the equations are now in balance. 4, B, 2. The correct answer was 2H2S plus SO23S plus 2H2O. Score 1 mark. The student is expected to have received the 10 marks for the question by the end of the fourth question. The sticky note describes seven tips that will assist the student in weighing chemical equations with practice.